And that, guys, is how you build a tree, Minecraft style. Alright guys, now, in all seriousness, trees, trees are kind of, in vanilla Minecraft anyway, one of the most lackluster, um, objects in the game. I mean, yeah, it's like, okay, it's a tree. You, you know what it is, but it doesn't really look like a tree. You've just, most trees just have a one wide trunk. And some leaves surrounding it in a spherical shape. And so many of them look the same. So what I want to do here is show you some basic steps as to how you can build your own realistic looking tree. Now I have some examples over there, but I'm not going to get to those just yet. Right now I'm going to walk you through... Uh, some of the basic steps and then show you or I'm going to walk you through with the steps that I use and then I will show you Just more examples of those steps essentially. Okay. Now the first one is real really you need to get your materials You need to figure out what wood you're going to use and what leaves you're going to use as well as what type of tree you want to make uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a willow tree or kind of like a weeping willow um, and in this case I have another item here just called willow which in vanilla you can replace for vines and it'll look just the same um, but because you want to choose your tree because each tree really has its own different uh, flair to it you're not gonna build a willow tree like I built this tree here this is more of like a really large oak, kind of. But it's, it's not a willow tree. And so you're not gonna build a willow that way or you wouldn't want to, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I do. Uh, the first thing I do, I build the frame of the tree, honestly. Um, and I over chunk it. I make really big and I make it really big for a reason. That way I can come back a little bit later and simplify it and streamline the tree and make it make it look a little better. And I tried doing a couple cuts of this just like being quiet and whatnot and that did not work for me. So I where I thought I'd like voiceover and but that just did not cut it. But now that I kind of have a basic semblance of the tree, which I mean, really, you'd, you'd look at that and you're like, that a tree? That doesn't even look like anything. Well, you're right. It doesn't. It looks like crap. But that is why I'm not done. So the next thing you want to do is really look at the trunk, okay? Or the very, very base of it because you want to kind of, depending on how tall your initial segment is, you'll really want to put a lot of work down into the bottom of the tree. Um, and with both taking away and putting in blocks. Like you're just, you're really just trying to get that natural look. You don't want anything too linear, too um, man-made looking. You really want stuff to look organic. And nothing, almost nothing in nature follows a pattern. That's a lie. A lot of stuff in nature follows patterns. But they're not linear lines. And you really don't want straight lines. And I mean, in Minecraft... It's super easy to make straight lines, and that's not really what you want to do. You want to just like be 
be kind of as flexible as possible with it kind of but you also want to make sure you leave your trunk or your base of the tree the widest part because trees get at least the trunk of the tree gets smaller as it goes up and so then once you're man kind of happy i'm not extremely happy with this but it's it it this will do this is more of a once you've got it happy ish but that's that's okay that is a decent trunk for a tree and one thing to kind of take into consideration is that the ease that if you want people to get up it especially if you're building um adve adventure maps and you want people to climb your trees i mean you can make some weird weird jumps and whatnot in your trees and it'll look natural it really will i have an example of that over there that i will show you all um but now that you have your trunk you want to kind of work on branches okay willows well your branches should are made up of the two blocks that you have it with as far as a willow is concerned you'll use your wood for your major logs or for your major branches um and you also also with willows they kind of go up a little bit so you want to go up but then you want to droop down if i could place blocks but yeah you want to droop down a bit not like really rapidly but just kind of droop them a bit yeah and then do that again and kind of just you don't want them to look the same if if something kind of looks off in the beginning as well don't worry about it you it will probably look much better later on than it does right at the beginning you just gotta not worry about it just kind of go with the flow a little bit and hope it turns out right in the end but one thing you do have to be willing to do is judge yourself honestly if your tree looks like crap which many of mine have especially when i was learning to make trees then you just tear it down it's like that's all you can do is just tear it down and then start over and then you'll just you'll learn more and you'll do better and granted i will say i learned a lot of my tree skills from windcraft where they make absolutely amazing trees and that's where i initially got the idea it's like trees are trees are more than like one block wood oh my gosh um <laughs> but now for for the next step at least for willows and i do it for almost all of my trees you want to cover just the outside of the branches not not any extra to start just cover each like each face of the wood uh for willows you don't really want to do underneath uh, because a lot of the big leaves of the tree are above the branches and then they droop down with really little leaves so you're not gonna have a lot of big leaves above or below the branches below you're gonna see a lot of that exposed timber and you're gonna see a lot of well you're not gonna see a lot of big leafiness because all of that is above the tree and yeah 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 um that's this side mostly and then also you kind of just want to fill it in um like if you're doing another tree you'd really do a lot more underneath work than i'm doing on this one and it just it would it it would look more full but don't worry this tree will look like a willow when i'm done with it even if i have to tear it down and start over 
but I'm fairly okay with it to this point. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish up plopping these leaves down. And as soon as I do that, I will then get back to you. Okay. Alright guys, now that we have more of kind of a basically fleshed out tree, now we're going to kind of get into a little bit of the details. And as you're going with trees, just a tip, you will never finish a tree. <laughs> Honestly, you will, or at least I don't finish trees. I will be working on this slew of trees probably until I finish this project. Um, because as you're going, they will always have something that you're like, well, that looks a little off. And then you can go and fix it. And then you'll just move on. And then you'll fix it, and then you'll come back later, and there'll be something else. You're like, hey, I could fix that. Until maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you'll look at your tree and you'll be like, that is one party tree. And you'll be perfectly happy with it. Me, I'm usually not. Okay? But the next step, at least for a willow, and I mean, I guess this also applies to other trees, but you fill it in. And as far as willows are concerned, you add the, dro the droopy bits. The bits of leaves that just drop straight down to the ground. And of course, with these as well, you don't want all of them, like on the outside, you don't want all of them to be the same length. Um, you, you just, you want all of them to be, you want it to look organic, like it grew that way. Not like some yahoo built a tree and you're just like oh hey somebody built that no you want to be like hey that's actually reasonable that like that grew that way i mean maybe i'm just like being just the way i'm building this tree it's like that's not how willows grow some of you botanists might be saying um but you just you just kind of go with it and of course dro droop more over water little bit but also also with this project I want boats to be able to get through so take that into consideration when you're drooping leaves because if somebody if you want people to get through on water then having leaves reaching down to be flush with the water wouldn't be a good idea because then they could ram their boats into the leaves and it's just going to be a hassle for them. So always just pay attention to that. To your overall scheme. If you don't care about boats. Because it's such a tight area. You wouldn't have a boat there anyway. Then hey go for it. Have some artistic leeway. And take these straight down to the ground. Now. Um, boop boop boop. Alright now. That's that's pretty good for this one. This is kind of flushed out, droopy droopy britches. That I don't know why that was that was what came to mind. Um but <laughs> droopy limbs and now just kind of make your way kind of around it again and just for willows anyway. This is still part of like filling it in. But place your place your vines that'll just grow down and blend in with in this case they blend in with the leaves um but also you don't have to place every single one you can just like place some and leave it and i mean put some up top maybe for a little bit of aesthetics but just kind of go around just do it do whatever feels natural really especially if you have some sense of design if you really don't have any sense of design, um, well, hopefully this helps you a little bit more to know what to look for. And I would definitely suggest going and looking at builds where people build trees. Um, because it's just like that's where you can learn the absolute most. 
is just going and looking at other people's stuff. Um, and I mean, tips, tricks, all, all that is just really helpful whenever you go to build your own big projects. And whenever you want to call yourself a builder, then you actually can feel like you can call yourself a builder. All right. Now, that this tree is basically done other than the amount of time it would take just for uh, the these willow vines to finish growing. Um, and now we're going to come and take a look over here at some of the other trees. Okay. This one here I built a little bit ago. It's it's finished and it's go growing and it has its droopy droopy vines and it it looks pretty good i'm really happy with this one i'm pretty darn happy with this um this these few here i kind of like work from beginning stages down to later stages over at that end um these are all just really good examples of what a beginning tree that first formation of it can look like this one i just wanted it to start down at the bottom move over and then scooch a little bit to the side as it goes over the water uh this one i wanted it to be more droopy and so this one as i flesh it out it will have more hanging over the water and less covering up back here um this one kind of a little this is where i'm starting to like words um refine the refine the trunk trunk there we go there we go um i didn't do anything down there like i kind of should have like there should be oh just just some stuff boop there we go I and mean, that that's already looking much better oh no that oh facebook supposed to actually go and record at a friend's today but that may or may not actually happen silly friends getting distracted by other friends um and then this one uh this one kind of a start of a branch i don't know if i'm gonna keep that that's kind of just weird and that that doesn't look good to me um this one here that one's actually like nearly done so i'm, I'm gonna come over here first um, this one here too, just kind of refined the trunk a little bit. And we have a cow climbing my trees. I've had the same cow climb this tree twice. It it was weird. This one here, um, this, this one I'm going to tear down. This one I don't like for the purposes of being a willow. Over here, well, I meant to finish that one more before this. Um, but it should kind of go up. And then have its branches go down or go up and then down this one it, it's too much of an oak to be a willow and me, meaning it's like it's got its trunk and then its branches come up and it's just it's not a willow like i want it to be so that one i'm going to tear down so you just you've got to be willing to tear down what you build if it's really 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 not what you want and it's better off to just start over than to do it again. Okay. This one here, kind, kind of the same thing. This one I'm going to probably be able to save. But it's, it's not great. But it's also very early on. I was just starting to flesh it out or skinny it up. Refine the trunk. There we go. I'm going to use proper words. Uh, I was just starting to refine the trunk whenever I started this video. And this one. I wanted to build a more, a taller, straight up trunk that then I can have my branches that go up and then come down ish like so maybe. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. But that's what I wanted with that one really because it's just, it's not meh. Yeah. Something like that. But I'm going to have a bunch more trunk branches like that going off of that one. So now let's, let's look at this one. Whenever you're going with trees, you want some to be smaller, some to probably more of them to be medium sized. 
And every now and then you just build the absolutely freaking massive tree. Okay? That, that's just kind of a rule. It's like some trees are going to be older than others. Especially if you're building, uh, what? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 12 trees so far. Just along this riverbed. And so some of them are going to be bigger. And this one, I started out just kind of at the bottom. And then I decided for it to split off into two really big branches. And then from there, I would just make my smaller branches. And which I'm, I'm really liking this one. This one is kind of nice. Um, and I'm thinking it's really going to look good whenever it's finished. Because I'm going to have like a little open gap to the sky right here. And I'm, I'm excited for this one. Okay. So... I really hope this helps you all uh, build trees and make a more realistic looking Minecraft. So, yes. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to call it there. And I really hope you all learned something. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed most of all. And if you did... Please hit that like. If you want to see more building tutorials, uh, tell me in the comments. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. Um, I do other stuff of Minecraft and other games. And I just kind of want to come here and chill. That, that's my whole point for doing this. And so thank you all very much once again. And I'll catch you all later.